Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat, and today we are celebrating 100 subscribers. Be sure to watch till the end of the video for a special surprise. And as always, there is merch available for purchase. If you want any of the cards or the whole deck, check the description for the links. The commander is Volrath the Shape Stealer for two, a black, a green, and a blue, is a 7 5 shapeshifter. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a negative one, negative one counter on up to one target creature. Pay one mana. Until your next turn, Volrath the Shape Stealer becomes a copy of target creature with a counter on it, except it's a 7 5 and has this ability. The neat thing about our commander is that he can target any creature we control or our opponents. And the creature just has to have a counter, it doesn't need to be our negative one, negative one counter. The main focus of this deck is to clone our opponent's creatures. Let's jump into the mana rocks first. Simic Signet for two colorless is an artifact where you pay one, tap it, you get a green and blue. Golgari Signet for two colorless is an artifact where you pay one, tap it, add a green and a black. Demir Signet for two colorless is an artifact where you pay one, tap it, add a blue and a black. Darksteel Ingot for three colorless is an artifact that is indestructible and you can tap it to add one mana of any color. Commander's Sphere for three colorless is an artifact that you can tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity, or you can sacrifice Commander's Sphere to draw a card. One of the newer mana rocks is Arcane Signet for two colorless. It's an artifact where you can tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Gilded Lotus for 5 colorless is an artifact where you can tap to add 3 mana of any one color. Chromatic Lantern for 3 colorless is an artifact where lands you control have tap, add 1 mana of any color. Chromatic Lantern also has tap, add 1 mana of any color. Another essential part of the deck is ramp, so let's talk about that. Farseek for 1 colorless and 1 green is a sorcery where you can search your library for a plains, island, swamp, or mountain card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle your library. Circuitous Route for 3 and a green is a sorcery, where you search your library for up to 2 basic land cards and or gate cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Explosive Vegetation for 3 and a green is a sorcery. You search your library for up to 2 basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Sakura Tribelder for 1 and a green is a 1-1 Snake Shaman, where you can sacrifice him, search your library for a basic land card, put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Cultivate for 2 colorless and a green is a sorcery, where you search your library for up to 2 basic land cards, reveal those cards, put one onto the battlefield tapped, and the other into your hand, then shuffle your library. A very similar card is Kodama's Reach for 2 and a green, it's a sorcery, except it's an arcane spell. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, reveal those cards, put one onto the battlefield tapped, and put the other into your hand, then shuffle your library. Last for our ramp is Solemn Simulacrum for four colorless, is a 2-2 golem artifact creature. When Solemn Simulacrum enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card, put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. When Solemn Simulacrum dies, you may draw a card. So how are we going to deal with our opponent's threats? Well, let's do that with removal. Counterspell for two blue is an instant that lets you counter target spell. Arcane Denial for one and a blue. Counter target spell, its controller may draw up to two cards at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. You draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Death Sprout for one, two black and a green is an instant destroy target creature. Search your library for a basic land card, Put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Putrefy for one, a black, and a green is an instant where you can destroy target artifact or creature. It can't be regenerated. Beast Within for two colorless and a green is an instant where you can destroy target permanent. Its controller creates a 3-3 green beast creature token. Is your opponent overwhelming you with a lot of creatures? We'll look no further with these board wipes. Casualties of War for two, two black, and two green. It's a sorcery where you can choose one or more. Destroy target artifact, destroy target creature, destroy target enchantment, destroy target land, destroy target planeswalker. In Garrick's Wake for seven and two black is a sorcery where you can destroy all creatures you don't control and all planeswalkers you don't control. Now, I often don't talk about the lands in the deck, but these lands are at a price where I would really recommend you pick them up. 
Darkwater Catacombs is a land that is often referred to as a signet land, and you'll see why. You can pay one, tap it, add a blue and a black. Ash Barrens is a land where you can tap to add colorless, or you can have basic land cycling for one colorless, discard this card, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Warped Landscape is another land where you can tap it to add colorless, or you can pay to, tap, sacrifice Warped Landscape, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Sunken Hollow is a land that counts for an island and a swamp, so it can tap for blue or black. Sunken Hollow enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. This can be very useful when using cards like Farseek because this card is an island or a swamp. Exotic Orchard is a land. Tap, add one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. Command Tower is a land. Tap, add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. These lands are often referred to as pain lands. We have Yavimaya Coast is a land where we can tap to add colorless or we can tap it to add green or blue, Yavimaya Coast deals one damage to you. Lanawar Waste is a land where we can tap, add a colorless, or we can tap it to add a green or black, and Lanawar Waste deals one damage to you. These lands are often referred to as the Scry Lands. Temple of Deceit is a land that enters the battlefield tapped. When Temple of Deceit enters the battlefield, Scry 1, you can add blue or black. Temple of Mystery enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, scry one, add a blue or green. Temple of Malady enters the battlefield tapped. When Temple of Malady enters the battlefield, scry one, tap to add black or green. Now let's talk about the focus part of the deck. Let's talk about cloning. Identity Thief for 2 and 2 blue is a 0-3 shapeshifter. Whenever Identity Thief attacks, you may exile another target non-token creature. If you do, Identity Thief becomes a copy of that creature until end of turn. Return the exiled card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Body Double for 4 and a blue is a 0-0 shapeshifter. You may have Body Double enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature card in a graveyard. Vizier of Many Faces for 2 and 2 blue is a 0-0 shapeshifter cleric. You may have Vizier of Many Faces enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Except if Vizier of Many Faces was embalmed, the token has no mana cost, it's white, and it's a zombie in addition to its other types. And embalm costs 3 and 2 blue. Vesuvian Shapeshifter for 3 and 2 blue is a 0-0 shapeshifter. As Vesuvian Shapeshifter enters the battlefield or is turned faced up, you may choose another creature on the battlefield. If you do, until Vesuvian Shapeshifter is turned face down, it becomes a copy of that creature. Except it has, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may turn this creature face down, and it has morph for one and a blue. Wall of Stolen Identity for three and a blue is a 0-0 zero, zero shapeshifter wall. You may have Wall of Stolen Identity enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it's a wall in addition to its other types and has defender. When you do, tap the copied creature and it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for as long as you control Wall of Stolen Identity. Gigantoplasm for 3 and a blue is a 0-0 shapeshifter. You may have Gigantoplasm enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it gains pay X. This creature has base power t and toughness XX. Followed footsteps for 3 and 2 blue is an enchantment aura. Enchant creature, at the beginning of your upkeep, put a token that's a copy of enchanted creature onto the battlefield. Stunt Double for 3 and a blue is a 0-0 zero, zero shapeshifter with flash. You may have Stunt Double enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Clever Impersonator for 2 and 2 blue is a 0-0 zero, zero shapeshifter. You may have Clever Impersonator enter the battlefield as a copy of any non-land permanent on the battlefield. Renegade Doppelganger for 1 and a blue is a 0-1 shapeshifter. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Renegade Doppelganger become a copy of that creature until end of turn. Clone for 3 and a blue is a 0-0 zero, zero shapeshifter. You may have Clone enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Mirror Image for 2 and 1 blue is a 0-0 zero, zero shapeshifter. You may have Mirror Image enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature you control. Phantasmal Image for 1 and a blue is a 0-0 zero, zero illusion. 
You may have Phantasmal Image enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it's an illusion in addition to its other types and it gains when this creature becomes the target of a spell or ability, sacrifice it. Phyrexian Metamorph for 3 and 1 blue Phyrexian Mana is a 0-0 shapeshifter artifact creature. You may have Phyrexian Metamorph enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or creature on the battlefield except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Mirror Maid for 1 and 2 blue is an enchantment. You may have Mirror Maid enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or enchantment on the battlefield. Spark Double for 3 and a blue is a 0-0 illusion. You may have Spark Double enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control. Except it enters with an additional plus one plus one counter on it if it's a creature. It enters with an additional loyalty counter on it if it's a planeswalker. And it isn't legendary if that permanent is legendary. Quicksilver Gargantuan for 5 and 2 blue is a 7-7 shapeshifter. You may have Quicksilver Gargantuan enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it's still a 7-7. Supplant Form for 4 and 2 blue is an instant return target creature to its owner's hand. You put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of that creature. Stolen Identity for 4 and 2 blue is a sorcery. Put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of target artifact or creature, and it has Cypher. Sahili's Artistry for 4 and 2 blue is a sorcery. Choose one or both. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact. Create a token that's a copy of target creature, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Faded Infatuation for 3 blue is an instant. Put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of target creature you control. If it's your turn, scry 2. Rite of Replication for 2 and 2 blue is a sorcery with kicker for 5 colorless. Put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of target creature. If Rite of Replication was kicked, put 5 of those tokens onto the battlefield instead. Quasi Duplicate for 1 and 2 blue is a sorcery. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, and it has Jumpstart. Lazav Demir Mastermind for 2 blue and 2 black is a 3-3 shapeshifter, and he's a legendary creature. He has Hexproof. Whenever a creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, you may have Lazav Demir Mastermind become a copy of that card, except its name is still Lazav Demir Mastermind, and it's legendary in addition to its other types, and it gains Hexproof and this ability. Demir Doppelganger for 1, a blue, and a black is a 0-2 shapeshifter with the ability where you can pay 1, a blue, and a black, exile target creature card from a graveyard, Demir Doppelganger becomes a copy of that card and gains this ability. Evil Twin for 2, a blue, and a black is a 0-0 shapeshifter. You may have Evil Twin enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it gains pay a blue and a black, tap, destroy target creature with the same name as this creature. Altered Ego for X, 2, a green, and a blue is a 0-0 shapeshifter that cannot be countered. You may have Altered Ego enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it enters with X additional 1-1 counters on it. Progenitor Mimic for 4, a green and a blue is a 0-0 shapeshifter. You may have Progenitor Mimic enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it gains. At the beginning of your upkeep, if this creature isn't a token, create a token that's a copy of this creature. Mirage Mirror for 3 colorless is an artifact where you can pay 2 mana. Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. Mimic Vat for 3 colorless is an artifact that has imprint. Whenever a non-token creature dies, you may exile that card. If you do, return each other card exiled with Mimic Vat to its owner's graveyard. Pay 3 colorless mana, tap, create a token that's a copy of a card exiled with Mimic Vat. It gains haste. Exile it at the beginning of the next end step. Thank you all so much for watching and making it all the way to the end of the video. Now I wanted to do a giveaway for all of you and the prize would be a foil reclamation sage. A few things required to enter in this giveaway is you must live in the United States, you must be 18 years or older, comment below your favorite magic card, and follow me on Twitter so I can contact you. I will announce the winner on Twitter on Saturday, March 28th. If the winner does not contact me within 24 hours, then I will have to choose another random winner. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support and making this channel grow to 100 subscribers. 
as of right now we're at 116 as of this recording and that just blows my mind thank you guys so much i will see you all in the next one uh peace